Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and today I have the pre-race roundup for the 2023 F1 Qatar Grand Prix. Actually I've got a bit of non-F1 news to go into as well but I'll get to that at the end. But for now, there's a couple of things in terms of F1 news, namely Liam Lawson will once again be driving for Alfa Tauri this weekend as Daniel Ricciardo is still not quite in fit enough condition to race again so it's now targeted for him to be back at the US Grand Prix in Texas. But the other big, big bit of news this week actually comes from an American racing team because, at long last, the FIA have approved Andretti Cadillac for F1 entry in 2026. Now, that doesn't mean they'll actually be in. It's now got to go to the F1 organisation itself for approval. So hopefully that goes through as soon as possible, so we can have, finally, for the first time in a very long time now, 11 teams on the grid. Because bear in mind, we have had the exact same 10 teams since 2016. So it's been a very long time uh, with all these exact same teams. So I'm going to be very glad to see a brand new team on the grid. And saying that, even Audi. I know they're taking over from Sauber, but it's going to be a new organisation new engines, probably new um, staff as well, so that's basically a new team, but it's replacing an old one. But this new um, Andretti team would be a completely brand new team to F1, and that's very exciting in my opinion. Now, moving away from F1, as said at the start, there is a couple of non-F1 things, namely to do with the World Endurance Championship. And as we know, next year, the World Endurance Championship is growing a bit including a couple more manufacturers, including the likes of Lamborghini, so, so we will finally get the raging bull of Lamborghini versus the prancing horse of Ferrari, which is obviously going to be a very cool battle, because, you know, both Italian teams, both very well-known Italian car manufacturers, so it's going to be interesting to see who comes out on top. Now, also being joined by F1 team, Alpine. Now, we've known about this for a while, and their car honestly looks pretty good. We've only seen it in its test carbon fibre livery so far, which I've got to be honest, does look really cool. Now, there is a third team, but unfortunately, I have forgotten who they are. Apologies. Um, I will let you know in the F1 stream on Sunday evening, by the way. But, there's another piece of World Endurance Championship news that's come out in the last couple of days. At the moment, the Peugeot hypercar is running no rear wing, which, to me, and probably not just me, is looking incredibly strange. It's... it looks weird. But from next year, Peugeot have decided that they're going to stick one on, which will probably help with the rear downforce a lot, and will make the car look a bit better, in my opinion. Um, but yeah... That is basically it for this week. So please, like this video, subscribe to my Rock Sounds channels. Her link's down in the description, my button is down there. Please click those and then a bell icon to get both sets of our notifications. Comment as well, because why the heck not? And let me know what you think of all the stuff about what you think about all the stuff I've talked about today. Um once you've done that too, please follow me on my social medias. They'll be down in the link tree in the description below that's my Rock Sounds website, and there will not be an astoundcast this Sunday as the race starts at 6pm UK time, so I wouldn't be able to do both streams. There will only be the F1 stream for the Qatar Grand Prix this Sunday. Um, and of course, lastly, please do share this video with all of your friends so they can join the infinite loop of liking, subscribing, commenting, following, and sharing, and around and around and around that loop. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. Goodbye!